All right, so I've replaced my background behind my creature with gray, which helps me see all these different components that need work. Helps me see which edges need to be softened a little bit more. And I'm using my secret trick at the very end of a clone stamp layer at the very top of everything to help uh, transition where I don't have elements to transition. <laughs> you know, I don't have enough overlap to use. And as I get more and more detailed, I'll go a little bit harder, a little bit smaller brush, a little bit more opaque to really kind of carve these features out. Remember, they're all still on separate layers. In the past, I used to combine layers and put them all on the top and then work on it all together. But if you can do them as separate layers, you're doing yourself a favor because you might want to use those component layers later and you, you want them cleaned. You want them ready. Especially if we animate these character designs later. Hmm. Having trouble selecting the fringe on that leg. Let me see. Auto select layer. Oh, it's because, yes, something is over the top of it. There we go. Because I have a copy of layer 15. I see. So I think I might merge these two together. So I don't have to erase them from two different, oh, I remember when I did that, yeah. Take the opacity down on that just a little bit. There we go. So I'm going to select those two and then Command E to merge them to. Ah, that didn't do what I wanted. Never mind. Not going to merge them together. <laughs> but I've got the right layer now. So oddities of your process you can also address here and that can help you. Such as having duplicates of this edge so that I have to soften it in two stages. As long as you understand your layers, they are useful to you. Because if you don't understand how they work, there's not much hope for anybody else. And working professionally, it's not just that you create good work at a design firm or at an animation house or pre-production house. It's that other people can understand your work and can improve upon it, add to it, work on it. And that's just professionalism. Still see a little bit of that green, so I'm going to have to try to address it. And instead of doing it with the, um, the sponge tool anymore, I'm just going to take it out with color balance. Just very consciously counter the greens and the color balance. I think that's going to be just fine. Yeah, that made a big difference. And let's do that in this, these layers too. Take out some of that green. Color balance really shows off when you when you have white and you're trying to mix to kind of a clean white.
And this is tough because I have a clean white. I just need to get rid of that those green reflected lights. There we go. That's looking pretty good. All right. Do a quick once over. Shave a few edges and then we're ready to turn it in. Cuz if it looks good and believable on a gray background that's a good indication that it will look look strong on on your fantasy setting as well soften out some of these elements nothing should be floating in space on its own And then of course the last last tool you have to make little little adjustments in a variety of ways is this clone stamp layer at different opacities. So if I want to extend the, the darkness of that lip, I can. It's all safe on a layer at the top. You can kind of paint with the textures I've already established. Want to be careful of hard edges. Keep it subtle where you can. If I want a little bit of a reflection of the yellow in the eye, ah, very nice. I can do it with the clone stamp or a little bit of the red. And because it's on its own layer, bit of color in the hair there. Because it's on its own layer, I can take the opacity down or I can just erase, erase it with a low opacity until I'm happy with how it blends in. See, that can make a big difference. I'll probably be using more of that in the next assignment. Cleaning it up really has to do with removing things that don't belong. Softening edges. Dodging and burning if you need to. Just, just detail based refining. Sometimes the hardest thing is just selecting the layer. I think I'm overdoing it. All gets covered up anyway. All right, it's all done. So I first save it for myself as a PSD file. Then I turn off the background layers, both the white and the black. So it's a checkerboard. It's after I've saved it as a PSD, and I save as a PNG. 
And I'm going to go ahead and leave my little Pokemon design in there because I stuck pretty close to it. So it's kind of fun to see what I was inspired by. And I'm going to save it to the desktop as a PNG file with my name, Carl Assignment to Creature Collage. And that way it will show up as a transparent cutout of my creature in Photobucket. Next, I'm going to save it. No, actually, I'm not. I'm going to, I'll, I'll leave that for the next assignment. For the next assignment, we'll have to merge all those layers together. You know, so it's one object we can move over. Okay, let that finish up. Now I can close it. I don't need to save it again as a Photoshop file, because I already did. And I am going to go to Photo Bucket. All the information for accessing it and logging in are under links in our Canvas page. And that is all we need to do. Just upload it to the right assignment. So you will upload yours to assignment two. Today is the deadline for it. and make sure you at least have your sketch up there. But I want you to upload it even if it's not finished. I want to see where you are in the process right now. Acknowledging the deadline. So assignment two, we have a lot of nice entries, goes right into there. I'm going to put mine into instructor demonstrations for assignment two. <laughs> and I believe, man, I've done a lot a lot of this assignment in the past. Oh, I haven't even posted my sketch yet. So also make sure you post your sketch. And if you're organizing your files, as I try to, you should have a sketch, JPEG, just ready to go. So I take these two bring them in, one JPEG, one PNG. And then you're going to label them with your name and then the number one for the sketch, number two for your final composite. And we will critique those beginning of next class. And lab hours are available. Thanks a lot. By titling them correctly, they'll show up automatically. Because these are all my name, I have to do it this way. That's how you want them to show up. All right. Great.